Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're hopping into the next episode of Atlanta. This is season one, episode six, titled Value. So before we hop in, last time on Atlanta, it was, we, we saw Justin Bieber, Justin Bieber, and he and Paperboy kind of had a little rivalry, a little feud going on in that episode. On the flip side, we also had Earn who was mistaken for somebody else by some lady, who I forget her name, but she thinks Earn is the guy that screwed her over, sold her out, or whatever, to kind of get ahead in his career. And she vowed to make sure Earn, or whoever the guy she thinks she is, die alone and homeless, I believe she said, which is one hell of a threat. So we will definitely see her pop up, I'm guessing, at some point. To try to ruin Earn's life or whatever. But um, I'm guessing Earn should probably uh, worry about that at some point. But uh, the, one of you guys did mention in the comments that... Because I made mention that these episodes feel too short. Like it feels like they end abruptly. But one of you guys mentioned that I should look at this like a slice of... Like a, I look at this episode like a slice into their life. Like a slice of their life. Basically, I don't know if I'm wording that properly, but um, if I had the comment in front of me, I would have I would read it right now. But one of you guys did mention that, and that makes a lot of sense because it I've it feels like every episode thus far felt like an individual, self-contained story with like loose threads kind of threading in and out, you know, throughout the rest of those uh, episodes. So there is a loose story going on here, but the episodic nature of the show, we're just getting a piece, you know what I mean, of the puzzle. So I'm guessing, I don't know what value could be about. It could literally be anything. We could not be following along with Ern and that lady. We could not be following along with, uh, was it Darius and, and the dogs <laughs> who, who we need to give money to Ern. We could not be following along with X, Y, and Z, you know what I'm saying? But I'm excited for this. I've really been enjoying this show. It's very interesting. It's weird, but in a good way. I did kind of liken this to Euphoria in a sense, but it, it, it kind of like has a similar feeling, but I feel like this show kind of handles it a little bit better, while Euphoria just feels kind of, I don't know, I've only seen two episodes of Euphoria, but I don't want to like compare too much but the feeling feels the same it's weird and i like it and i'm interested to see where we go from here because favorite character wise i don't know i think i kind of like Paperboy. <laughs> you know i think he's really cool um and and what he has going on in his life maybe we'll cover that a little bit more because i remember zan is a problem and then like there's a guy that's like following them or asked about Paperboy, he came up to the door. A lot of stuff is going on. So let's just hop in, have a good time. But before I do, Patreon, if you want to avoid the YouTube highlights, hop on over there if you want to watch the full-length, uncut, unedited reaction, as well as early access to everything else you see here on the channel, as well as exclusive reactions. So if any of that interests you, hop on over to Patreon. If you can't support me over there, you can always support me right here on YouTube. All you got to do is like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. Now let's stop talking, hop in, have a good time, and we'll just discuss it afterwards. All right, guys, here we go. Who's this? High society over here. Who are you? Is that Ern's girl? Maybe this is her mom or something? I don't know. Man. That is her. Sister? You smell good. What is that? It's Boucheron? Friend? Oh, mm. okay. I'm sorry, I'm late. No, no, no. I know you're a working girl, don't worry. It's fine. It's good to see you. You look really good. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Me too. Yeah, I like your hair. Really? Yeah, yeah, it's cute. Thanks. Looks better than last time. Well, mm -hmm. who's paying for yours? Because I, I actually have to pay for mine. Sister? Good evening, ladies. Can I get you anything else to drink? Yeah, like a Chardonnay. Why don't we do like a bottle or something? Do you have something sweet? Riesling is good. Okay, yeah, let's do a bottle of that. Good. Great. Okay, thanks. I'll be right back. Thank you. <laughs> Man, this is awkward. <laughs> when do you leave tomorrow? Nine. Oh. Yeah. 
Damn, that's a short trip. Where are you gonna go? Are you gonna go home? Uh, no, well, back to New York, check out this apartment I like, mm -hmm. and then to London. London? Yep. Wow. Yeah. Oh, but I love Paris. Girl, have you been? I, I went last month. Yeah, you, know, you should come with me next time. It'll Girl, be fun. it'll be fun. I have yeah. a daughter, I can't leave. Oh, that's <laughs> cute. That's cute? You know, I guess when the time is right, I'll have a kid. Yeah, I'm sure. With that attitude? I'm sure as soon as you find the right guy. NBA player? Yeah, the right guy. So, how have you been? How's your mom? Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, you look great. You do. Thank I'm serious. You. you said that already. Here we are. You know, can I actually <clears throat> get some chopsticks when you get a chance? Chopsticks? What? Thai people don't use chopsticks. I just like chopsticks. Oh, okay. Okay. Wow. We're still watching this. Look, call Ern. I'm not calling Ern. And then have, why? I don't know, he's busy. Doing what, smoking weed? Wait, are you, are you still seeing him? We have a daughter. Is he living with you? When he can afford to, yes. Y'all are funny. You two are funny. Jesus. You, know, you really need to think about your value. I'm sorry? Like, what is your value? Like, why are you messing around with this broke ass nigga? Like, you, whatever. Man, I know what my worth is. <sighs> Look, women need to be valuable. Black women have to be valuable. I am cultured, intelligent, and beautiful, and that is hard. Van, look at me. That is hard to come by. And he's running around on you, girl. So what? What do you mean, so what? So what? You don't think that I'm going out on dates? You don't think that I ever decline his calls because I have some guy wrapped around me with his tongue down my throat? I mean, come Fucking on. Fucking hell. Really? Who you got? Ah. Here we go. Enjoy your dinner. Enjoy. Thanks, bud. Great night. Do you eat? Do you not eat? She's gonna take a picture of her food. Mess it up. Like, right, bitch. Oh. Oh, Kevin's here. Who? Wait, what? He's taking us to the listening lounge. Jade, he's got a friend for you too. Cute. Hey, baby, how you doing? Hey, what? Hey, boo. Hey, this is my boy CJ. Hey. How's it going? Hey, you looking good. Damn. Well, listen, <laughs> um, y'all finished though? Uh, yeah. We yeah, need yeah. to get ready to get out of here. I'll yeah. take the check. Okay. So, hey, sweetheart. Well, you're looking beautiful. I'm talking fine, like. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Okay. <laughs> wait, wait, you gonna take your jacket mm -hmm. to the bathroom? It's the girl's thing. She leaving? Please tell me she's leaving. That was insanely awkward. Hey, pretty girl. Hi. I'm sorry. I just wanted to hang out with my girl tonight and I messed up. Please don't leave. It's fine. Have fun being valuable. You'll be like old times. And do you remember that in old times you always used to hook me up with the uglier dudes? <laughs> oh okay, CJ is not that bad. He's like a lawyer or something. <laughs> I think. You know what? Hold on. I got this just for you. We? you want it. Yes, you do. No. Yes. Hell no. Yes. Hell yes. Get your raggedy purse having <laughs> ass in this car right now. Get, get, get in here. <laughs> Oh man, this is kind of cool. I like learning more about Van, Vanessa. What's about to happen here? What about your phone? <coughs> I'm gonna fuck them niggas. The he, hell? Wait. He wants me high. Believe me. <laughs> okay, that's nice. Shit. What? Come on. Is this that elephant shit you gave me, that Rihanna? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Man, I love to hit that shit. <coughs> Man, pass me that shit over here. Damn. Imagine hotboxing that. I love you, Van. I love you. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, guess you didn't make it to work. Damn, rings forever. Is that your alarm? Oh, fuck. Yeah. I'm fucked. My whole life is fucked. What happened? I have a drug test today. Girl, you smoked yesterday. Girl. Oh my God. Let me ask a friend from the Hawks. I mean, they can test and he smokes nonstop. Can you hurry? Because I gotta be at work in two hours. I'll hurry. Oh, you got time at I least. Got you. Bye. And forgets. Get pee from someone else. This is like euphoria. <laughs> Get your childhood friend, uh, what's her name? Casey? Cassie? What's her name? 
Euphoria. Oh, fuck. Use your baby's fist. Ern probably knows. Hey, what's up? Hey. Mm. What's wrong? You look weird. I'm tired. I just had a long night. How's Jade? Mm. She's good. She's going to New York, and then she's going to London. With who? Boyfriend number 19. Uh, she eat? No, not yet. It's cool. We'll pick something up. Maybe you can get like an extra hour of sleep then. You'll feel better. Aww. Dispatch, we got a baby in a residential area. Please advise. Hey, could I get Alfred something? Uh, sure. Thanks. What do you need out for? Uh, a friend of mine wants to meet him. Because of his business, I can set up that meeting, you know? A lady friend. Oh, okay. Matchmaking. That always goes well. Who's that girl in Ern's phone? The life. Is that a grenade on your table? Be like that sometimes. Hello. I need your help. Alright. <laughs> it's like, do I gotta get up off this couch? How do you pass the drug <laughs> test? You smoke. Yes. Alfred, I am allowed to smoke. <laughs> the weed is for people who aren't going anywhere, though. Aw, oh, shit. Aw, oh, shit. Alfred, you have to help me. Have to? You know good and well that you ain't paying Earn anytime soon. Look, my man Bibby, he buys piss from somebody and he put in a condom, he tape it to his leg. Is there anywhere I could even buy urine at this point? Probably not. But I'll ask around for you, all right? All right. How much time we got left? Wow, she's gonna be like, sorry, no luck. I mean, I guess you can't ask Earn because he smokes too. Damn, where do you get piss? The baby? I kind of figured. You're not going to squeeze the diapers, are you? Ah, Jesus. Like, why does it smell like piss in here? Oh my god. Who's going to drink that? Or by accident. It's all dripping and dribbling. And what if they're like, check you? I don't know. Lift up your dress. <laughs> Walking funny. It's funny. Alicia, hey. You run an ISS today? Uh, yes. I'm supposed to. Yeah. I got Tobias right now. You want to know what this boy did? Tobias. What the fuck? Is that white face? Why? Why was he in white face? I don't even know. Okay, just send him to Mr. Halford because he loves him. Somebody needs to come get him. I can't do it, Van. I'm not going to jail today. Just don't spill it. Uh, uh. Don't do that. I already know what's about to happen. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. Oh, God. Morning, Miss Kiefer. I wanted to have a quick chat with you. I didn't receive your sample. I smoked weed. Okay. Well, urine samples aren't sent off. They're really just to keep people on their toes. Everybody smokes weed. <sighs> what? But unfortunately, you have admitted the use of an illegal substance to a superior, so gotta fire you. Fuck you! To cover my own ass as well as the schools, you understand. Okay, let's say we had this conversation Friday. That'll give you the week to get your things together, okay? You all right? No. Yeah, you are. Ooh, you are loud. It's all in your hair. Did this really happen? Ugh. It's so annoying. What are you going to do? Like, what can you... Oh, fuck. Quit. Be like, you know what? Fuck this. <laughs> Why? All right, guys. So that was season one, episode six of Atlanta titled Value. 
like I said, we're, we're following a different character this time. This time we are we're getting a little bit more into the life of Van, Vanessa, um, and where she is in life, how she's kind of like dealing with everything. And yeah, I actually never thought we were going to focus on her, but it makes sense considering she is Earn's better half, you know. And uh, I, I do feel like it's kind of shitty the way things kind of ended up for her because I'm like, wait, what? But I don't know. The entire time she was trying to orchestrate how she was going to bring the piss in in the condom and then, you know, try to, you know, throw off the drug test. I was like trying to figure out how, why would you use a condom? At, at least in Euphoria, they used like a little bottle. I mean, that made sense, you know, because with the condom, you have to tie it up and then it just leaves a lot of room for error because then it gets too tight and it's rubber and latex is kind of hard to really just, you know, pop or whatever. And the fact when she started to use her teeth, I already knew that shit was going everywhere. And the fact, ugh, just... The idea of that makes me kind of sick just thinking about that. But she really went through it to get piss. I mean, that would have been my first thought. I think even when she was trying to call around looking for clean piss or at least for um, ideas on how to pass this drug test, I think I even mentioned during the reaction, I was like, use your use the kid, <laughs> your daughter. You know, it's like <laughs> she started wringing out diapers and shit. It's like, holy shit. You, the lengths you go to. You know, following that conversation with, was it her friend? Her, I can't be sister, because it had to have been like a friend, like a long, like a past childhood friend that they kind of kept in touch with each other. At least that's what I kind of assumed. Um, but yeah, she saw like how good life could be and was comparing it to her own. And it didn't help that her friend or whatever was like basically treating her like shit. Not trying to, but mostly kind of like getting her those backhanded compliments you know but um i like that we got to see a little bit more of van i like that urn did pop up in this episode to kind of i guess reignite her or to kind of like have her look at urn a little bit differently because she basically was running down urn like he was nobody but kind of defending him during that dinner with her friend but then urn kind of proved something to her by coming by saying he was going to take he was going to handle breakfast for the kid and told her to you know it would get at least give her an extra hour of sleep to you know sleep off whatever was bothering her which was nice it was a it was a nice calm it was it was a nice simple way to kind of let vanessa know that she's actually is cared for and earn isn't that bad of a guy you know he may be broke but his heart is still there which is like better or more important than money at this point. I mean, money is important, but you need to have actual love, you know, in a family to kind of keep the wheels turning. So I like how <laughs> Vanessa really kind of turned the corner at the, at, by the end of it by trying to come clean, come clean, but then it winds up biting her in the ass. It's like, oh, well telling us I have to fire you but you understand and then she immediately texts Alfred I didn't even did I know that did I know his name was Alfred or Al I feel like I just been calling him paperboy this entire time so that's interesting um but yeah now she's now she's in it so what is she gonna do going forward is she and Ern gonna be more simpatico going forward that'll be cool can't wait to see what happens going forward with that um, but yeah, things are just like really interesting now. I can't wait to see how the story kind of continues and develops. And yeah, I don't know how many episodes we have in the season, but this is some really good shit. It's really fun. I like, like following different characters and how they kind of weave in and out of the story while having like our usual characters like kind of pop in just to kind of, you know, let them know that we're still here and just to see them play off of each other is really neat. Like we didn't get a lot of earn this episode. But he was there to kind of, you know, show Vanessa that he's not that bad of a guy. Paperboy was on his couch smoking. <laughs> so, yeah, good shit. We didn't see Darius, which was, you know, I kind of want to see him again. He, he's, he's, he's cool. He's a funny guy. Um, 
and I do want to follow along with what's happening with Ern and that lady. I can't wait till all these storylines kind of pop back into, you know, back into the main story. So I don't know. I'm just going to end it there. But surprisingly good episode. Not surprisingly good, but surprisingly entertaining considering we were following a character I never thought we were going to follow. <laughs> so I think I'm just going to end it there. All right, guys. If you guys enjoyed my review, join my reaction. You guys want to see this episode with me in its entirety. That option is available to you right now over on Patreon. Links are in the description down below or pinned in the top comment. Can't support me on Patreon. You can always support me right here on YouTube. All you got to do is like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. Now I'm going to get out of here. I'll catch you guys next time in the next episode of Atlanta Season 1, Episode 7. Until then, adios, guys. And if you liked what you saw, tell your friends, tell your family, tweet about it. And if you didn't like it, shut the fuck up. <laughs>